Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium, and I'm here to give you an hour of what I like to loosely refer to as entertainment. <laughs> oh, Lord, here we go. Okay, so, okay, I want to say hello to everybody already on YouTube. In the chat, that would be Sal and Amy May, Ann, uh, Maris or Mara. Um, oh, there are a couple others in there also. I'm gonna, I hate Rebecca, <clears throat> Amy Hugh. I thank y'all for being here. Um, everybody for calling in. We are going to get to you very soon. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Frankie. Hi, how are you? Okay, so a couple quick messages before we get started with the show today. First and foremost, I will never reach out to anybody and tell them they need something or to get something, not on social media, not on anything. Um, if anybody ever wants a anything from me, a session for a reading, a hypnosis, a healing, um, they reach out to me via my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. That's the only website that I have. And they uh, contact me or by my private number or by my business number 414-897-2869. But I do not reach out to people. I do not do text um, text sessions or email sessions. And if you've ever seen me text or email, you would 1 million percent understand why. Let's just leave that there. Okay. Um, hey, Fawn, if you would like to join me live any given time at all, every Monday and Wednesday at noon central, we go live. You can join on YouTube live. You can join, um, call in 845-277-9131. Call in and join us live. Now, if you have a question you would like to ask, you can use the call in number. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, you can call in and um, connect with a loved one on the other side. We're going to start the show with a clearing today. And this clearing is going to be any and all foreign energies have been cleared from us. I get a no. Let's start clearing that. Now, if you're feeling this, please let me know. Um, any and all. Um, yeah, any and all foreign energies. That's what I'm getting is needed the most. And then... Um, the next one, any and all insecurities and all that caused these insecurities have been healed, cleared, released from us. I get a no. Let's, 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 <laughs> let's make my mouth work and let's clear that to a yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, there we go. Let's get all that out. And if you are feeling it again and you're in the YouTube chat, please comment. I'd love to hear how everybody else feels this, what they're feeling, how it feels. Okay. Um, Amy says, definitely um, feel foreign energy clearing and appreciate insecurity clearing. Mm, Amy, absolutely my pleasure. Absolutely 1 million percent. Okay, I'm going to start with loved ones that have been hanging around and that song came in. Uh, oh my God, I love that song too. Um, I'm going to sing it wrong. It's by Marcy's Playground. Um, I smell sex and candy. Yeah. Who's that with that something evil stare? Mama, that surely is a dream. Okay, so that song is coming through. So the way the songs work, and there's no given rule, a song can be for one person, a song can be for a hundred people. If this song meant something to the loved one on the other side, if it means meant something to you, if it meant something to the both of you, um, if it's the answer to a question, it's your song. It's that simple. It's just, it's your song, Okay. Um, so that song, 
<clears throat> and then um, loved ones. I can hear a name and that name can be for a couple of different loved ones. It can be that loved one's name. It can be your name, okay? Or somebody you know that they have a message for. So we're going to start. I, the first name I hear is Ralph and it's coming through so loud and so clearly. I just keep hearing Ralph, Ralph. Now, if you know what that means, um, uh, please own it. If you know who that is or you're like, oh, my gosh, even if you think it is, it it is just own it. OK, just just own it. Just take it. Um, the next name that I'm hearing. I can't even. OK, you guys, this is I'm going to say this and then I'm going to. Uh. To explain it, I keep hearing Cinderella, Cinderella, and Cinderella story. So this could literally mean this person loves Cinderella, you love Cinderella, or you know your name is Cinder. I don't know. You're go if that's for you, you are absolutely going to know it's for you. That's it. You're just going to know. There's going to be no mistaking on that one. Maybe you went to see Cinderella to get. I don't know, but I just keep hearing Cinderella. Maybe this person gave you a Cinderella story or you gave them the Cinderella story. I don't know. But if it's for you, you know it. And then they want me to go into a song, which is, um, it's a country song. Somewhere on a beach, drinking something strong. Something, something, something. I know whoever, I know, <laughs> I actually do know this song, but those are the only words I'm hearing to the song. Amy Mae, what song is that? Somewhere on a beach, drinking something strong. I think it's a breakup song. I'm so sure it's a breakup song. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's a breakup song, folks. I'm pretty positive. Okay, the next song that I'm hearing, and if it's for you, if it's for somebody else, if it, whatever, is um, there's two songs, and they both start the same way. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I can't even sing the beat of this. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Um, and I can't, I can hear it, obviously, but I can't sing it. And those are the only words they're giving me is the it goes kind of fast and it's like uh I, that's it just that's all I'm going to give to that because I can't elaborate and I don't know enough of the song right now to give you more but they don't want me to let it go but they're not giving me more okay and then the next song is rolling rolling in the deep and everybody everybody knows Adele or almost everybody knows Adele Okay, and then there's uh, they're telling me there's at least two more songs, so please be patient with the songs. The next song is by, oh gosh, these country songs, Blake Shelton. And Blake Shelton, and it is, it's that song he sings with a woman. But that's all they're giving me. And I apologize for that. But if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay. And then, okay. And then there's one more song. And then I'm going to go on to a couple of predictions that I've been getting all morning long. And we're going to go with that. So the next song is, um, give me one more chance. And th those are the words there. Give me one. Give me one more chance. Whatever song that is. Okay, predictions. Here we go. And these are biggies, folks. Oh, my gosh. This morning I was like, really? Tell me more. And they would not. They would not. See, I, you guys might think I get to sit here and get all the knowledge of the whole entire universe. And I do not. And I do not. So the first one is, if you are in a country that has parliaments, expect huge some countries with parliaments, like, you know, governmental, your government is called a parliament, expect huge changes, almost like 
you go to sleep and this is your parliament and you wake up and this is your parliament. And I feel like this is going to be in two, possibly three countries and it's going to happen um, sooner than we think. They're not giving me the exact timeline. And then I'm seeing that, uh, that side piece queen. That's what everybody's calling her. If that's offensive, I apologize. I, I make no apologies for anything. <laughs> I can't help what spirit tells me. I make no apologies. <laughs> it's the maybe that's the parliament. If they call their their kingdom, queendom a parliament. Um, that's, that's what they're speaking of. And then, okay, so that one, and then there's going to be huge changes in France and the UK. Now, this is important if you're in any country, because these changes are changes that are going to also affect us in what I'm hearing should be a positive way. It's pushing a timeline back. Let's hope so. If what I'm getting is what I'm getting, push it back, folks. Let's push it back. Okay, and then the next thing I'm hearing, and as for governments, if you're in a country with government, we're going to see substantial, substantial trades, T-R-A-D-E-S, trades and changes. I know a few trades I'd like to make with our government. Is it like if you give me, is, is it like when they change prisoners? Like one country, I, I know a few government people I'd like to trade out if we can. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't know. I'm just hearing there's going to be substantial trades and changes if you have if your government is called government, there's going to be substantial trades and changes. Now, the trades can mean a lot of different things. It could be something they're doing with other countries, or it could be something within the what they're calling the house itself. Now, here's something I was getting a couple of years ago that I didn't share with a lot of people for all the reasons I couldn't, but they're saying it's okay to say this now. There have been a lot of tribunals going on. If you don't know what that means, just look it up. There have been a lot of tribunals going on in, and there's more coming out than I even knew before. There have been a lot of tribunals going on in military installations that are underground, that nobody can get to. And a lot, it like, even if the press knew about this, they wouldn't talk about it. Now, I'm going to tell you these tribunals have been substantial and they've been going on for about three-ish years now, at least. These tribunals, for the way I can say it, are bringing back the old. Which, <laughs> if this is the new, <laughs> bring back the old. <laughs> right? Right? I'm just saying. Um, the reason I can say some of this now is because it's going to start to appear. Now, I am going to also just add this little thing. Sometimes I make predictions and they don't happen for a, a year or two. These predictions are coming in. I think, I feel like these predictions are coming in sooner. And then the last like world prediction I want to make, and I'm trying to have them keep it pretty positive. I don't want to go into the like, oh, we're getting tsunamis, but we're getting tsunamis. Um, yeah, there are going to be a couple uh, really big weather things, and they have to do with water. A ton of water, like flooding and tsunami type things, and um, 
I just see huge, a uh, huge, huge water coming, like a tidal waves, a huge water coming, come coming in, huge waves of water coming in. So like tsunamis and tidal waves. And um, does a tornado happen on water? Can a tornado happen in water? I don't know. This is what I'm getting, folks. Okay, now I'm going to go to callers. Who, who, who? <laughs> who, who, who? Ha. That's a lot. That's a lot coming in, but it's going to be good. Um, I am going to go to uh, a water spring. Spurt, spart, spart, spart. That's what Mimi says, water spart. I think that's how I pronounce it. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go to the first caller. When I call your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling from. Have an exact question to get us into your energy or an exact connection to get us into your energy, and then we will get started. Um, Juan says somewhere on a beach is, yes, Dirk's Bentley, somewhere on a beach, sipping something strong, da na 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 da na 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 I, I, and the, the next word, maybe that's just where, well, don't be on a beach sipping something strong where those tsunamis and tidal waves are coming in, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I hope those two don't have anything to do with each other. Okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to take the first caller, 860-860, and then I'm going to go to online questions and clearings. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Hey, Amla. I'm good. What's shaking? Good. Good, good. Um, so I have a very upcoming event that's coming on this Friday, um, and Saturday actually, and it's with the one of them is with the guy that I'm interested in. But uh, aside from that, per se, um, we're really try I'm actually I, I shouldn't say even we. I'm just gonna say me. Um, I've been really trying to get people to come, and it's just been like, oh my goodness, it's so hard. I have four spots left for the one on Friday. Do you think those will fill up? And then how's Saturday going to go? I, okay. So that's a lot. That's not a lot, but I'm going to try to make sure I touch base on everything you asked about. I do feel like the four spaces you have available will fill up. I feel like you, what you've already done, don't do it again. Go about it a new way. Put it out there a new okay. way. Okay. So if, if you've been, you know, doing word of mouth, go social media. If you've been doing social media, go word of mouth. If you like tell a friend to bring a friend um, sort of thing, do whatever you've done. You've already done that. Move to the next way of doing it. I feel like Saturday is going to go well. Do not have any expectations of this person you're interested in. And here is why. Go in and let it be all about you because you know why? Because it is. Because let me, I'm going to tell you and every other woman, and then I hear that song, I am woman, hear me roar. I can't even, I can't even say the word. How am I supposed to roar when I can't say it? I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> my oh this concussion needs to heal okay anyway like here's the thing in i don't know a lot about tarot oh my 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 computer just started sliding forward folks and i did not touch anything i did not okay ha huh. Uh, here's the thing. I'm not very familiar with Tarot, but here's, it's sliding forward again. <laughs> oh my God. I just watched it. Oh going, my goodness. Wah, 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 wah. They are not doing a close up. It's just my, my camera on my computer just coming at me. 
Um, okay, so I, I do not know much about Tarot, but here's what I do know. In Tarot, the queen, there's, there's the queen of the four suits, and then there's the king, and the king builds the kingdom and gives it to the queen, and she sits on her throat. But then there's the empress, which is all four queens encompassed into one. And the empress is the creator, okay. and the empress has come to a point in her life where she has created and she's still creating, but she allows everything to come to her and she knows who she is and she stands in who she is. Now, when we make something about a man it is, and we're oh. kind of fawning or whatever over a man, then they don't have to work or try to show us how they really feel or whatever for us. So we have to be the person who allows them to show up and show out, allows them to come in and let like, not saying they have to chase, chase us because it should never be a chase. It should be a dance. Okay. Um, yeah. I but agree. you need to let the man lead. So if, we're there trying to let somebody know how we feel about them. Then they, 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 they're not going to do their due diligence in. Uh, uh, letting us know or pursue per, doing their part in the dance. Let me put it that way, doing their part in the dance. So yeah. what you need to do this weekend is you go about your business and you be busy and you do everything you're supposed to be doing for this event and pay attention to everybody and um, and shine. It's just your business to show up and shine, okay? Show up and shine, okay? And then anybody there is supposed to be there to support you showing up and shining. Okay, I hope that makes oh, sense to you. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Okay, yeah. excellent. I'm gonna, yeah. you um, guys. So just to, just to wrap up, so you think that the the four slots will definitely be filled for this Friday? You think? I'm hearing yes, as long as okay. you, as long as you, um, d d go about it. Don't keep doing what you've done. Do a different way. Get the word okay. out in a different way. Okay, okay love? Okay. Thank you, love. I, I am doing it. I, I have no choice but to do it a different way because it just feels like whoever is showing up is because of me. And it's funny that you said to shine and they'll, see, they'll support me shining and that's it. The people who are coming, who made their reservations, are there for me. Absolutely. Yes. So, and that yeah, it's all about me. It's yeah, going and, to be about me. Yeah. And don't and the and so if it's all about you, don't worry about a boy. Worry about how everybody yeah. else. Okay, love. All right. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you. You are welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Y you are welcome. Okay, I am going to take the first uh, YouTube question, which is, Rebecca's asking, my 25-year-old son would like to know if he should move to the state of the state Utah again, of Utah again. I feel like it's of Utah again. You guys, I do not know what's going on with my computer today and the camera, but it just will not stay in place. And I'm sorry, it just keeps moving forward and cutting part of me off. And so I'm just going to try to leave it and apologize. Um, I feel like he's going to, I don't feel like it's the strongest move. Ask him what he's running away from. Okay. Look. Oh my God. You guys don't even know. It's crazy because it's just like all of a sudden in the, as I'm looking at the questions in the queue like there's a little i can't even explain it but it, yeah it's there's a lot of activity going on here today folks <laughs> a lot of activity going on here today um 
Okay, uh, should he move to Utah? Not necessarily. I feel like he's kind of trying to run away from something rather than run to something. He's running from something. And when you run from something, you end up running into it wherever you land. I'm just going to say that you do. I don't care. Maybe not immediately, but eventually because it's something you need to work out. So ask him, you know, not why he wants to go there, but what is he leaving here? And then work, try to work through that with him. Now, once he works through that, can he go to Utah? Absolutely. And he'll do phenomenal. Um, I do feel like there's going to be an incredible work opportunity for him in Utah. I do feel like he's going to have a lot, some luck in Utah, but he just needs to clean up whatever's here first. That's what I'm getting. If I'm not getting that correctly, I, I so apologize. Um, hey, Genevieve. Um, but uh, please let me know, Rebecca, if that resonates and if that makes sense to you. Um, and and I and and if that answered your question, eight four five two seven seven nine one three one is the call in number. If you have a question, make sure you push that one button so that your hand goes up. And I know that you have that question. I'm going to go to two zero three two zero three. What's your name? Where are you calling uh, from? <clears throat> Tony. Yes. Tony. Yes. Hi. It's Pat from Connecticut. It's Pat from Connecticut. Hey Pat, I hate how are the you? way she phenomenal. <laughs> I hate the way she phenomenal skill on such a mistake question, but I have lost or misplaced my credit card, and I'm panicking a bit because, as you know, with car problems, I need to rent a car occasionally, and they'll only take charge cards. Um, well, I you can you see it in my apartment or where it is? First of all. So, okay, I want to make sure I'm understanding the, you have misplaced your credit card. And you can't find it, yeah. And it's in your home, right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, no one has charged, put a okay. charge on it, but I have no, honestly, I have no idea. Where is her, I, you know, I'm not good at finding things, Pat. You know, I, I put my phone oh. down. I'm going to tell you something and I'm going to do this and it's going to make everything in my house go off. I put my phone down and five seconds later, I'm yelling, hey, Siri, to see where it answers me so I can, so I can find my phone, just so right. you know. Okay. Yeah, uh, by the way, thank it does you. work. Sorry. I can't help find your devices right now. <laughs> see? Yeah. It does work. Yeah. Um, and if you do that, it definitely works. You will, they they will tell you where they are or they'll answer you. Um, Pat, I, I'm getting the kitchen. Now, I, this, I don't know that this is correct. I just keep hearing the kitchen. So check in the kitchen. If that's not correct, I really do apologize. And you know what? If you have a, okay. a jacket or a coat, that you have been wearing or something yeah. with pants, check the pockets of that. Because sometimes we get gas or we run in someplace yeah. and we pull out our card and we just slip it in that pocket. So check your pockets because yeah, I feel I like, just, like it might be in a pocket. I've been looking like crazy. Okay. Yeah, I've been looking like crazy. Um, do you think I should cancel it? It takes, you know, almost two weeks to get a new one. <sighs> That's a tough call. You, I, I, I don't like this question because I can't. It's not a question. Oh, I'm, I'm good at it. It's okay, sweetie. Um, I technically no. I feel no, like I just, you. You need. Just wondering if you got a hit on it. I feel like I keep hearing kitchen, and I keep hearing okay. Just go scour through your kitchen and then uh, co come back on and let me know if you find it. Okay, love? And the pockets. And okay. the pockets. Thank okay? You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. God bless. Yeah. God bless. And thank you. And I'm sorry I could not help more, sweetie. I'm so sorry I could not be of a bigger help to you. Okay, I'm going to answer Frank's Frankie Frankie's question. Tony, do you see anything for my son? upcoming meeting. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, 
my son Sean. Okay, my son Sean and an upcoming meeting. Yes, it's good. Um, I, this is what I'm hearing, Frankie. It's going to go well, a favorable outcome, whatever that means. Okay, I hope that's helpful for you. Now I'm going to go to 226. And if you do have a question, you can post it in the uh, chat or if you're on YouTube, or you can call in 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to 226. 226, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, hon. Uh, my name's Amber and I'm calling from Massachusetts. Hey, Amber, how can I help you today? Um, so yesterday was Mother's Day and I lost my mother and her sister, which were, you know, my my two main girls. So I wanted to see if they could come through for me. Yeah, absolutely love. Can you please tell me your mom's first name and your aunt's first name? My mom's name is Shirley and my aunt's name is Karee. G Gree, like G-R-E-E? -E? C-O-R-R-I-N-E, Karee. Karee? Okay. Um, Karee, like Karee, Karee. Okay, so you can, uh, the funniest thing is uh, on my end, you keep breaking up when you say her name, but let's just go with it. It's okay. I'm not going to stress it. Okay, so I see the first woman I see walk in, I feel like might even be your grandmother. But if it's your mother or your aunt, please let me know. She was a little bit older and her face was sunken in and her cheekbones were very defined. She, um, I feel like this might be a grandmother or an older relative female. That it is has. with the same name. Okay. She's here, but she says she's very matter of fact. And did she have a little bit of a... Um, like a raspy voice at, or a deeper voice at one point because she's like, ah, don't yeah. worry. They're coming. They're right behind me. Like, she's like, let's go girls. Come on. And then I hear I that. Gonna be pissed that I didn't say her name no, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, <laughs> but the funny thing is the song when she says, let's go girls. I hear that. Like, I think it's maybe Shania Twain. Let's go, girls. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I, I'm doing, yeah, every, thank God everybody knows that song because I, I can't, again, I am not musical in any way except for I can listen to music. Um, and then, so then the other two are walking in and they're like, there is golden light around them and they are, and there's more people walking in with them. And so the first thing they want to say is, um, they're singing the song, um, and this is how you feel or felt maybe yesterday. I'm I'm going to cry, and I'm so sorry. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost. With, oh, oh, God, I can't even sing any more of that. I'm so lost without you. Okay, so that's the song that's coming through, and I want to apologize for the, the, the that. Um, and I apologize to everybody who has to look at my cry face. Um, and they're saying, but they're always with you. Don't ever doubt that they're with you. They're, uh, they're standing strong, like a triangle, like Shirley, grandma, the, 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 like, come on, <laughs> she stands in front of you. And then the other two stand to your left and right a little behind you, like forming the Trinity triangle around you. And they have these, oh my gosh, I love being able to see this. <laughs> they have these, um, this, this is effing crazy. And I really want to swear right now because it's so crazy what I'm seeing. It's so effing crazy. <laughs> So they have going from one person to the next, this gold bar. Okay. So imagine yourself in the middle of these three amazing women. And then from the, to each other, they form a gold bar that puts you inside of this triangle of gold, like, like a gold railing for lack of a better word. And then whenever, 
you're feeling um this song is coming in i'm feeling blue na, 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 which i cannot stand that song so take it away now um they they put up the bars <laughs> they they like shoot up the bars <laughs> They just shoot up the bars and then you're like have gold walls, a gold triangle walls all around you. And it is, um, it is amazing. And then when you feel, when you have enough gold, like that energy, cause that gold bar and wall is their golden energy of light and love. So when they've immersed you, <clears throat> excuse my voice, when they've immersed you, Jesus, <laughs> I, I when they have immersed you in, I feel like a boy going through puberty, my voice spikes that high pitch um, in enough energy that you feel a little stronger and a little lighter, then they take it back down to a bar. Or if anything comes around you, they like shoot those bars up again. And it is phenomenal, <laughs> freaking phenomenal <laughs> and so they want you to know um and my my sister always said this to her daughters as they were growing up and I love this statement it's one of my favorite statements I've ever heard especially from a mother or a loved one to another loved one I got you I've got you don't worry I've got you like that whole like letting you know you're safe and secure so right now they're saying in unison we've got you or individually saying I've got you. Um, and we would say, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you serious? That's so cr I love it. It's not crazy. It's not crazy because that's why they're bringing it through. That's why they're bringing it through. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I know I'm a dork. Please don't write me. If you're watching me, no, please don't write me and tell me I'm a dork. I know I am. I don't care. I love being a dork. So enjoy my dorkness. Enjoy somebody who's a dork. Okay. Cause I'm doing stupid little dances as all of this comes through. Okay. Then they want to say grandma who has the front is a force to be a force. A fo to be reckoned with. And um, she is the one who will, like she's showing me, she takes her palms. And if you're watching, she can take her palm, palms and she can like move mountains. If something is in the way, she just like takes her palms like and has like this light coming out of it and just goes push and pushes it out of the way and all you have to do whenever you're feeling complicated stuck whatever say grandma move it i don't care don't ask what it is don't wonder why because that keeps you stuck in it just say move it and then i hear the song i like to move it move it i like to woo, move it, do, do, do. okay anyway um Side note, back to the main topic. Uh, she'll just oh take her hands and move anything out of the way because she's saying what we're failing to realize is everything is energy. Everything is energy. No matter how big it looks, no matter how, how strong it looks, everything is just energy. And even if we think like there's a complication with another person, it's just that person's energy. It's energy to energy. So all they have to do is move that energy out of the way. Not the whole thing, just the complicated energy. Oh, my gosh. You guys better be listening. You better be paying attention. You better be taking notes. You better be. Mm, because Everything is energy. Go ahead. I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, when you said side note, that's like my catchphrase. So the <laughs> fact that you said that, that was pretty cool too. And you can go back and listen to every show I've ever done. And I probably never even said that before, but I'm channeling. So they're going to be bringing through things. You say, they say, they've said all of it. So I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, do you get this? You guys, do you just, do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it yet? because this is it. Okay. So they're saying everything is energy. Just allow it to be moved. You don't, when you have a complication with a person or a thing and we think it's so big, it's not just move that energy out of the way that's causing the complication. 
Okay. So the person isn't the problem, just the energy or the whatever that person is bringing or you're bringing is the problem. And yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a little too excited. I, and I do this. I do this all day. So I shouldn't be this excited, but I am, but I am, <laughs> but I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause I love when I get the visuals, I could, I could tell you guys like at night when I'm in bed working, yeah, that's what I do in bed. Um, I work on people. Um, the things I see are so phenomenal. It's so beautiful. It's always so beautiful. Anyway. So what I want to say to you, they want you to know that they're always with you. There's going to be something coming in, in a month, almost a month to the day. Um, and today is May 15th, so that puts us right around mid-June. There's going to be something coming in a month to the day, almost. It might come in a little like the 13th or the 14th. And they're just saying, say yes. <laughs> say yes. And I'm okay. hearing this, and I don't want to say it, I because I, I don't want to ruin a surprise if it's that kind of surprise. But if it's a trip, say yes to the trip. If it's something else, say yes to the dress. I, I, whatever it is, <laughs> say yes. Does that make sense to you? It does. My anniversary is coming up in June. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yay! <laughs> okay, so say yes. Whatever comes in, just say yes. Just say yes. So if there's a trip with this, if there's something else with this, just say yes. Okay, and enjoy it, and you en you deserve it. And then I hear that song, "Hey Kid, da -na -na, Rock On." If that's the word, but I keep hearing the part "Rock On," so they're just saying "Rock On." <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my god! So I hope <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you. I hope it makes sense to you. So and sweetie, I am so grateful that you called in. I am so grateful we all connected and we had this little chit chat here. <laughs> and there's something also, this is the last thing and then I really got to move to the next next question and I'm so sorry. Um, there's going to be, um, I hear the song, celebrate good times, come on. And I'm hearing uh, there's going to be something to celebrate. So it might be something you're not either you know about it and everybody else doesn't know about it or something coming in that you're going to be able to celebrate that you hear about. And then I hear say yes, say yes. OK, love. <laughs> OK, thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. OK, love. I will. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you for calling in. I look forward to next time. Okay, I'm going to go to 216 and then I'm going to answer some YouTube questions. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is uh, Desmond calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, Desmond, how can I help you today? <clears throat> Yes. Uh, do you see me uh, leaving anybody the next three months or Did, this year, rather? This okay. Year. You want to know if you're going to meet somebody in the in, when you're going to meet somebody, right? Yeah. Yes. You're talking about a partner, right, Desmond? Yes, a lady. A lady friend. Desmond wants him a lady friend. Any single ladies out there? Oh, my single ladies. Oh, my single ladies. Okay, Desmond, if you've, I don't think you've ever called in before. I'm quite a goof, so just flow with it. Um, uh, yes, Desmond, you are. Um, Desmond, can I please ask your age? Uh, 50. Okay. Desmond, um, here is what I am hearing for you. Something happened when you were, I, I'm hearing 27, which tells me something happened at the age of 27 that changed something for you. We're just going to clear that out. And as I clear that, as I start clearing it, I feel a big lump in my throat. 
we're just going to let all that go. He's let this go. Let it go. Whatever this was, it. We're, I'm going to tell you this. You're going to be free to move forward in a very solid way within a month. Whatever was holding you back from being able to find the right person. And let's do a clearing on this for you and everybody listening, uh, re-listening, watching, re-watching. Whatever is stopping or blocking us from finding the right person and being in the right relationship has cleared, healed, released. All that caused us and kept us has cleared. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's put it in a bag and toss it in the gar back of a garbage truck and let it go. Um, we don't need it anymore. Um, and what I'm going to tell you is within, to, well, maybe even tomorrow, you may feel tonight, they're saying tonight, you may feel differently. Um, but within a month, the way you think and feel about relationships is going to open up. You're going to have a brand new view about how relationships can work and what is possible for you in a relationship. So I'm not saying this is you, Desmond, but some men think, well, I need to have this, this, and this before I can do this, this, and this. Um, you're going to have a new perspective on things, and things are going to open up all the way around for you. I'm going to tell you that, tell me what month, July, okay? Now tell me what day, the 18th. Now tell me how many, two. Okay, uh, thank you. Desmond, July 18th. Okay, first of all, there are going to be two people coming in that are prospective partners for you. One of them is like your past people. And um, I'm hearing that song, Hit the Road, Jack, and Don't You Come Back No More, No More, No More, No More. Okay, so the one that reminds you of people from your past, kick them to the curb. To the left, to the left. Okay. Now, there's also going to be somebody else coming in. And this person, they have their poop in a group. And I would have said it the other way, except for, you know, this show does air on TV. So I don't like to swear as much as I do in real life. Um, but this person has their, their poop together. And they're very peaceful and calm. And you might think at first that this person is a little bit boring. It's not that they're boring. They're just not that roundaway girl. <laughs> She's not a roundaway girl with her bamboo earrings, at least too bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay she is, she is very calm and and she you might think ah oh, she's 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 a little boring no she's just not drama she, she's just not drama she would rather spend a a night like having great conversations than trying to talk over loud music she's done with that she's had her fun she's ready for the one and if you're not in that spot don't mess with her don't mess with her. And they're saying when you when you're moving forward now, instead of um, maybe um, and I'm going to say this and I want everybody to to understand this from a different perspective. When you're really ready to get into that relationship, that that relationship you're not looking at everybody and you're not trying to date multiple people because <clears throat> you're looking for that one serious relationship. So when you meet somebody, you give them your time and your attention and you see if they check the boxes or not. And if they don't, you, you politely move on. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now that that is how you're going to be dating. Um, you're not going to be overlapping or dating a couple at a time or talking to whatever. You're going to devote your time and attention to see if this is the partner that you've been looking for or want, are wanting. Um, and if they're not, you're going to politely move on because that's what adults do that are not working from the ego. Now, 
I feel like July 18th is a very, 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 how many times do we have to say very, 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 very important date? Okay, you guys, when I repeat something like that, it is spirit. Circle that on your calendar. Write that on a post little posty note and put it on your door, your fridge to remind you July 18th. Something is coming in that's going to be significant. This can be someone or something. What I am going to tell you is whatever it is, you are going to be very happy with it. Okay, sweetie? Okay, I'm glad to hear. Okay. And if you do this right, if you're ready, by the end of summer, you will be in a monogamous relationship that's going someplace. Okay, Desmond? All right. Okay. Well, something to look forward to. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. You have, thank you so much for calling in. Um, I look forward no, to, you. oh, th thank you. And I look forward to next time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'm going to answer a quick question on... Line, I don't know where I left off. I'm so sorry, everybody. I am so sorry. Um, so I'm going to move to Sal. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Um, Sal says, I'm having a friend give edit suggestions for my book. Ooh, Sal, we want to know about the book. Drop the details in the comments. Um should I find someone else to do a double check? You know what, Sal? I do. Um, my sister is teaches psychology, and her and my niece both go over my books and edit. And well, really, what they do is they correct my spelling and punctuation and grammar and yeah, but whatever. They do it. Um, so I always have two eyes look over it uh if you want you can um i do feel like it's going to be a really good edit and a really good i feel like the whatever your friend's doing is going to be very good okay but it never hurts to have a second look in case just in case something was missed okay so i am going to go to 845 845 Tell me something good. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. My name is Maria. <laughs> yeah, I call it from New York. Hey, uh, today is my birthday. To give you a message from my mother, my mother, the name Antonina. Maria, happy birthday. Uh, Maria, the first thing I hear is that Thank song. You very much. You're welcome. I hear that song by Santana. Maria, Maria. Um, okay, so let's see. Antonina. Antonina. Cha, uh, the first thing she says, ciao, ciao, Bella, ciao, Bella. Um, uh, and then she says, uh, and give me a second, because sometimes when I'm uh, bringing in someone who is, um, it, it can take a moment for the language. So just give me a second. Um, yes, is she is saying, go, uh, you know, Maria, she is telling you the same message. Um, she's telling you, you know, go, go home, get it together, go home, go home, get ready, start getting ready to go home, start getting ready to go home. Um, see the island again, see the island again. Um, whatever that I think that I think you know what that means. And then she is saying, make a make a plan, um, make a your plan, make a your plan, make a your plan to 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 go to to do this to do, get, um, no proca no procrastination. Uh, don't don't you don't to uh, um, don't to stall. Don't to stall, don't to wait. Um, just get up and start deciding what do I keep, what do I take, what should go, what should stay, and slowly get it ready to make the move. 
Okay. Goodbye, Nicole. <laughs> and happy birthday, beautiful. Happy birthday. I hope your day Thank is you. amazing and Thank blessed. You. I'm so happy I was able to get you on on your birthday. And your your mother is saying um, she uh, like uh, me amor, me love. I'm. Uh, it, I, she's saying she loves you, and uh, she is uh, there there with you in in your in your um uh, in the casa in the casa in the um kachina kachina in the kachina in the kachina kachina in it in the in the in the i understand the thing okay well she wants you to know she's there all the time all the time all the time all the time with you okay love Thank you. Thank you very, very much. The best gift to you telling me today is you. Thank you. You are so thank welcome. You. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I hope you have an amazing birthday, beautiful. I'm sorry. I know I didn't I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, you guys, I want to give a quick reminder. I have my first program in I used to run this program for the uh, public schools and the recreation centers and now and in my office and now I'm running it online. It is the Create the Body You Want Weight Reduction and Sculpting Program. Um, it's on my website, tonig.info. It's six sessions. There's a special introductory price. If you're interested in that, please check it out. The next thing I want to do is see if I can get one more question in. Um, let's, hey there. I, thank you, Genevieve. I'm so grateful for that, Genevieve. Um, love Tay. Love Tay. I believe that's how I say it. Love Tay. Recently been going through a rough patch with my son's father. Ooh, sorry about that. Everyone thought he would be out of the. Oh, everyone thought he would be out on parole, but got set off for another year, sent off for another year, set off for another year. Can you sense when he'll be back out? Um, okay, give me a second. Oh, it's Laura Tay. I'm sorry, it's not Love Tay, it's Laura Tay. You know, I have friends that call me Mr. Magoo because my eyes are so bad, but it's okay. Um, for whatever reason, I'm hearing you're going to notice that something's going to happen in a month, love, Lord, love. I'm just going to call you love. I'm just going to call you Tay because that's easy for me at this point. Um. Here's the way I'm going to say this, and I'm going to talk very quickly. He's something they wanted to say he's going to be out in a month, but I don't know how they mean that. So what I'm going to say is something's going to happen in or within a month that's going to change the dynamics of this situation. 90 seconds. Um, make sure you're calling on your angels to help you with this and to do what they need to do for him and make sure you're calling on his angels and the warrior angels. Hmm, interesting. The angels, the warrior angels and the angels of justice to come in and to help with this situation in whatever way they need to. And the way they're saying that is, is very 60 seconds specific. Okay. I want to thank everybody so much for joining me today. If I did not get to answer your question, if I did not get to um, connect with you, please, please, please come back Wednesday at noon. I'll be happy to answer your question. I'll be happy to um, talk with you, do more songs, do more messages. Um, thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you. So stay tuned.